Welcome. This is 49B5, and it's traveling wave equation, but we're going to talk about the detail this time. So let's have a look at this. So we can say that at time t equals 0, a wave function is given by y is equal to a, that's the amplitude sign, 2 pi x over lambda. And that will give us a nice sine curve. Um, if we consider the wave function in time, so as time passes, this wave cur this sine curve moves. We'd say a sine two pi over lambda, and rather than x, we'd have x minus v t. This is because it's a negative sign; it means it's moving to the right. And so then we say, well, if we use v is equal to lambda over t we get y is equal to a sine 2 pi x over lambda minus the time over the period. And if we substitute in for our, 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 our angular wave number, we get k is equal to 2 pi over lambda, which equals uh, uh, a sine kx minus 2 pi the time over the period. And then finally, if we say omega is equal to 2 pi over the period, we get y is equal to a sine kx minus omega t. These are both moving to the right. Um, they're both important. In, in the top case, then it's in terms of velocity and wavelength. And in the bottom case, it's in terms of the uh, angular wave number and the uh, um, angular frequency. If we don't start off as we should do, we're choosing to start the wave off in this form. If we start off a little bit delayed, we can take care of that by a, um, by a, uh, a phase angle. Okay. Let's look at these. Let's do a couple of examples. So what we have is we have a sinusoidal wave as an amplitude of three meters. So A is equal to 3 meters. It has a wavelength of 2 meters, 2 meters. And it has a velocity of 4 meters per second. And I want to find its Y displacement at a point. So my X is plus, whoops, plus 5 meters. It's to the right of the, 5 meters to the right of the origin at time t is equal to 1.2 seconds. So there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. And I can imagine a wave, it looks like that at time t equals zero. I'm interested in a point somewhere like here, but I want to know what happens at some other time. So if I'm interested in a, in a point here, what's going on at the time that I'm interested in? So there's my position I'm interested in, there's my time I'm interested in, whereas this is my position and the time is zero there. Whole bunch of stuff going on. What I say is that my y value is equal to a sine, it's going to be 2 pi over lambda, and it's going to be x, it's traveling to the right, so it's minus vt. And so I say, well, y is equal to a, which is 3, sine, 2 pi over lambda. And lambda is 2. And this is x. x is 5 minus v. And v is 4 times t, 1.2. So y is equal to 3 sine. And that's going to be 4.8. 5 minus 4.8. That's going to be 0 0.2 pi. The, the, the two's cancelled. So if I take my calculator, and if I find my calculator, if I take my calculator, and I check it, I check them in radians, and I go sine 0 0.2 
pi, close my bracket, enter times 3. And I'm going to get 1.76 meters. This is positive. Uh, this is positive, meaning this thing is above the axis, so it's somewhere upwards, 1.76 meters. So what is it? It's it's knowing the equation, and then it's knowing what the the letters stand for. If I take a second example, a sinusoidal wave has an amplitude of four meters. So a in this case is equal to four meters. It has an angular wave number angular wave number k is equal to 2.3 radians per meter. It has an angular frequency omega equals 1.7 radians per second. And what is its uh, y-axis displacement? Uh, the location x is equal to plus 2 meters. It's 2 meters to the right of the origin and the time is now equal to 3.5 seconds. So y is equal to a sine kx minus omega t. Negative means it's traveling to the right. So y is equal to 4 sine k is 2.3 x is 2 minus omega omega is 1.7 and t is 3.5 so y is equal to 4 sine it's going to be 4.6 minus oh I need a calculator for that bit 1.7 times 3.5 so that's going to be 5.95. So y is going to equal 4 sine 4 minus, sorry, 4.6 minus 5.95 is equal to minus 1.35. I check that I'm in radians again and I go sine little negative 1.35 enter times 4 enter and I'm getting minus 3.90 meters which is that guy. This means it's below the axis it's it's, it's like that it's it's below. So I actually find the uh, second one is easier to remember than the first one and um, it's uh, um, used quite frequently actually. So there we have it.